today it was just a little bit warm-up training, preparing for my fight for the title in 125 pounds weight class. And I'm very happy that we came earlier to Texas because it's like to train in the heat. It's totally different. I feel very happy that UFC created this uh, weight class, weight division 125 flyweight for a female. I will fight with the same sized opponents uh, as that, that me. And this is the biggest difference because it's like my uh, natural weight class and I feel me very good in there. Tomorrow, Sunday, we go to Dallas. Yeah, after tomorrow, we start doing some plus trainings before the fight. Don't be afraid there when she starts to elevate you and she, you start, I want you to kind of give resistance like you're popping back down. As you elevate, as you feel her coming down, just slide right into the body and take it. Good. So we're in Ignacio, Colorado. Um, we're having a bunch of King of the Cage fights. A bunch of my teammates are fighting on this card tonight, so I want to come out and support. All right, let's go ahead and hit a couple double legs. Make sure you're driving through, okay? Good. So she came on up, took a little bit of time out of the day to go over some of the things that we're gonna be facing when we fight uh, the bullet. And uh, good movement, in and out, up, down. Nico has really good instincts. Um, she's come a very, very long way in a short amount of time. And when Nico gets out there and just moves, her instincts just kind of kick in and she tends to find the right place to go at the right time. I like how you're selling your shots. If you don't sell it, setup doesn't work. So make sure you're selling everything. She's gotta believe it's coming in. And it's for control. Today's workout was uh, just really getting comfortable in the pace. Get her frozen, up, down, in and out, side to side. I need to just stick to what I know has won me fights before, but just turn it up a notch. Good. Better sense of timing on that one. It's good. Fighting Tyron Woodley. I think he's a good champion. I think he's a good fighter. I think he's smart. I think he's strong. I think he's powerful. I think he's a good wrestler. But I'm confident enough to say that in fighting, I know I'm the best fighter in the world. Woodley's in for a tough night, definitely. He's in, he's in for a puzzle that he, he's not going to be able to replicate in the gym. It's all right bringing in sparring partners that are tall, that are southpaw. And it's all right watching tape. But until you face that, you can't replicate that. So I think he's going to find out very quickly going to not have control of the range, the pace of the fight, the speed of the fight. So I think he's in for a tough night. That belt, you know, vividly it's mine. It's just mine. I know it is. I'm going to take that belt. I know I am. I'm 100% confident in that. This is one of my favorite places in Houston. to shoot because it's giving so much like good energy, positive energy. Fight week, it's like right to the corner and this is it. I trained hard for this fight and I'm ready for this fight. I know exactly what I have to do to win the fight and get the belt and I will do it. Perfect day. Nice. Perfect day before leaving to Dallas. <laughs> Let's go. Official weight, 117.6 pounds. She represents Fit NHB. Ladies and gentlemen, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting Serena O. Having a team like Fit and HB is very, just reminds me of being home, reminds me of that comfort of having a family oriented support system. Nice, Serena! So 
So just seeing everybody kind of muster up their courage and get in the cage. Sabrina! <laughs> Everyone I see on the daily who I know are parents or older sisters or older brothers. Here we go. You see them take in that, that courage and just swallow up that fear and step in the cage and see what, what comes of it. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> Usually, like, um, at this time I'm still sleeping and... Today my rest day, so we will not do, like, nothing special. Just check into the hotel and stay there. Forward to the main body main supply for 2787 with service to run forward. TJ! Huh? Huh? Get your butt up. You got four more practices, huh? Gabby, girl. Gabby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Time to get ready, baby. Let's brush your teeth, though. Ah. Thank you. Dylan. Get up. Okay, hurry up. You, you can leave those pajamas on while we go jump TJ off. Yeah, the, the fight is every morning. So I grab all these supplements, all natural, because I know all you people be looking at my muscles and be hoping and wishing I'll be on that Ooh And I take them all at once. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going for here. I was bragging. <laughs> I was bragging that one went out the wrong pipe. So let's go. Hit him out. Hit him out. Hit him out. side of the sport who are like, oh, weight cutting shouldn't be a thing, you should get rid of it. But uh, something that's always going to exist, so if it's going to be done, uh, try to do it as safe as possible. So, you know, I wake up, I have my breakfast, or, you know, lately I've been waking up and running on an empty stomach, fast, you know, doing a fasted run. And then at the institute, I've been eating, like, my breakfast, you know, like some peanut butter, bananas, some yogurt back home, it's dry chicken and, and avocado and dry broccoli and nobody wants to eat that nice, certainly don't worry, but you know, the chef mixes it up and puts some nice sauces in. I'm feeling very confident. Um, it's just all about um, making every second count in Dallas so that he can um, get the weight off as early as possible. I think he'll be able to hit this skill early and uh, confidently. I like it. I like the food he makes. It's nice, so it hasn't been that bad. It's been okay. I don't have to worry about cooking my own food or making my own food, so get a personal chef, people. Change your life.